Now today's advice is the purification, the cleanliness, and being pure. Let's say what Allah Almighty and His Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, told us about cleanliness, purification. So, number one, Allah Almighty, He mentioned in different places in Quran, He says, Allah Almighty loves, our Creator loves those who are purifying themselves, who are always purifying themselves. Not only that, Allah Almighty said to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in the Quran, that clean and wash your clothes. And also it means that be away from the worshipping idols and, and clean yourself, clean your heart, clean your soul. And we have many other verses that talks about that people, they have to clean themselves, they have to purify themselves, etc, etc. And from the other side, our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, gave us an example about five daily prayers. But he gave the example, five daily prayers with the river. And he mentioned that if a person is having a river in front of his house and he is taking bath, he is taking shower from this river five times a day. هل يبقى من درانيه شيء؟ Will any filth or any dust or any dirt will remain on his body? So the companion said, no. He says, كذلك الصلوات. Similarly, like the five daily prayers. If you pray, it will wipe your sins. So he gave us the example about the purification that a person purify himself. Now leave that. Coming to another point. Our deen, our Islam, our religion also emphasize and tells us and encourage us to purify yourself. And the best example and the example that everyone knows, either Muslims or non-Muslims, is what? Five daily prayers. Before that, what happens? You are making wudu. You are making the ablution. Ablution means cleaning yourself, washing yourself, your face, your nose, your mouth, your hands, your legs, your head. Everything five times a day. Maybe some people will wash themselves more than five times a day. So, this is one of the valuable things that you will find in this religion that even before you pray, you clean yourself. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, saw a person with dusty hair and the hair is completely uh, not set or not appropriate. What he said? He said, he couldn't find or wouldn't he find anything that he can comb his hair and he will beautify himself. From the other side, he saw someone else wearing the clothes with some dust on it. And the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, says, wouldn't he find some water so he can clean and wash his clothes? So it is always recommended for all of us as Muslims, as those who believe in Allah, those who believe in Prophet of Allah, those who follow the instructions of Allah and His Messenger, peace be upon Him, to purify yourself. Always you look should look nice and fine and clean. Your clothes, yourself, you should smell good. And these are the principles that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, told us and Allah Almighty also in the Quran, and in the Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So, purifying yourself, cleaning yourself, washing yourself, wearing good clothes, wearing clothes without any dust, this is the part of our religion, our beautiful teachings in this deen, in Islam. So, imagine if Allah Almighty is telling Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, وَثِيَابِكَ فَطَهِّرْ Clean and wash your clothes, then Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is telling us to pray five daily prayers and before that you do the ablution. So if Allah Almighty commanding to purify yourself and your heart and your soul, and also Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, telling us to clean yourself and wash yourself before the prayers, then these are the top things. What comes after that, it should be also clean. 
whatsoever, either it's your home, either it's your house, either it's your office, either it's your school or whatsoever. So this advice is for me and you to purify ourselves, to clean ourselves and our heart and our soul and our mind and get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I ask Allah Almighty to bless us all and by that the time of this advice is up. We will inshallah move to another segment and the next advice will be in the next episode. So we will shift to another segment inshallah.